Yo, what's going on guys? Nasher here, back with another video, and today we are switching it up a little bit. We're gonna take a blast to the past and watch some of my old hockey videos. I remember a while ago, we went back and watched all the old NHL videos, and you guys really seem to like that. Three, two, one, bang! Let's go! Nasher 61 exposure. That is some sick editing. So today we're gonna be hopping in and seeing how our GoPro hockey career got started. I think it'll be really interesting to compare my old videos to my new videos and kind of how my style has changed over time. Also, I'm really excited to watch some of the old roller hockey videos because those are just insane. I also get a ton of questions from aspiring YouTubers that are looking to make content and they just don't know how. So I'll kind of explain my process and how I got started early on. So it should be a good time. Let's hop on in. Here we are, starting at the top of my channel. I gotta scroll down quite a while to get down to my first ever GoPro hockey video. As you can see, we made quite a bit of content in the last, what, two and a half years or so? And this is the first one, GoPro hockey, new beginnings. Here goes nothing, new beginnings, HD, had to put the HD in there so people knew. Look at this shot. Yo, the city in the background, the sunrise coming up net in the foreground you guys have no idea how long that shot right there took like right here i had to set a gopro up walk out set the gopro up again walk out set the gopro up walk out literally i had to do this stuff like six times over and over again i wanted to have as many angles as possible so i could splice it together and make something decent it just was so difficult oh my gosh and i forgot about this this is uh this is pretty bad i, I have no idea why i thought that was cool just like bouncing the ball around and hitting out of the air but then you got the glove cover boom GoPro hockey, new beginnings, let's go. Hold on a second, we gotta come back and talk about this right here, all right? So at the time, I was working an internship, it was an hour away and I had to be in at 8 a.m. So literally, I was waking up at 5 a.m. to come out here and try to get this shot. I remember there were four different days where I woke up and it looked like it was clear outside and then as I got to the rink, the clouds just started to form all over the place, the sun was not even seeable and it just ruined the shot. So I came out here every single day and. I on Friday, I saw that the forecast was finally clear. I'd finally be able to get my shot. I remember I was so panicked because I was so tight on time. I had to film all of this in this day because it was the perfect day with the sunrise. But I went in feeling hot because I knew that I had finally got the shot. All right, now we'll move into the GoPro hockey version, or I guess this is me kind of driving to the roller hockey rink. Yo, look at that haircut. Let's go. Look at fresh. Yikes, let's just go ahead and ignore that here and focus on the gameplay. Man, the blue rink is bringing back so many memories. If you guys didn't know, uh, we had this nice roller hockey facility. I was playing like two to three nights a week, and unfortunately they had to tear the whole facility down to build up apartments. So we have not had roller hockey for I think the last year and a half, maybe even a little bit longer than that. And man, do I miss it. All right, I'm just gonna fast forward here to some of our nicer goals. I think this might be one here. We get a nice little tip on that puck goes to the corner. He tries to clear it out head down boom We're taking that away hits it off the skate comes in on net Little drag through the legs goes in on net wide open backhand just lift lift up the puck and that's a goal What a save by the tendy holy I miss roller hockey so much just look at this like there's no denying GoPro hockey was better back when it was roller hockey. This is just like so fast paced. Literally, it's it's hard to keep up with the hands because the puck is so light, you can move it so easily. It is just insane, man. Coming in, little drag, little drop pass. Is that Matt? I think that's Matt Dub draining it. What a goal. It is Matt Dub. Grab the puck behind the net. Little pass in front, cheeky finish. Oh my gosh, dude. Yo, this is the play. This is an absolute banger. Look at this sauce. The other thing about the light pucks, they were so easy to sauce. Flip it over a stick. Matt Dub curling in front. Somehow sneaks it five hole. Me and Matt Dub, dude, we had the connection. Just absolutely insane. And that will do it for this episode. Wow, that was absolutely sick. I feel kind of weird like admiring my own videos. I'm not trying to be like cocky. You, you know what I'm saying? Like I just think it's cool looking back in the past 
especially the roller hockey stuff. So. so I think this is the first time that Jeremy from How To Hockey ever noticed my videos. He said, love the video, good hands, good edits, looking forward to many more. I remember that meant the world to me. Like this guy was the biggest guy. Looking back at this video, this was a guy with like 120K plus subs. I was just this guy that used to make NHL videos that decided to make real life videos. And like seeing him come and check it out and the encouragement, that is what really pushed me to keep this thing going. All right, video number two, GoPro Hockey, two games, one night. I was very original with the titles back then, apparently, jeez. All right, here we go. First clip of the game. Puck's gonna bounce to me here. I, I end up getting it on my stick. I'm like, I gotta bounce it over this guy. Nah, I couldn't quite do that. We still got it through his feet though. We're gonna pass in front. Oh my gosh. If you would have actually hit that, that would have been goal of the century right there. I remember I was so hard on myself back when I started making these videos. Like, I would not upload a game unless I got, like, a hat trick or, like, three nasty assists. I had, like, such a high bar of quality that I could rarely upload content. Like, literally, it would take me three to four games before I could upload a video, which was good and bad, I guess. Oh my gosh, dude. If that would have went in, hold on a second. So he's gonna pass me the puck down low here. I bounce it off my skate. We dangle the ref, get around his feet, come in between the legs, toe drag one, come on in again around another stick, and I just unfortunately shot it wide. I don't even think that hit off the goalie. The thing about me back then, and I guess it's still somewhat true today, is I'm never gonna put out content that I don't truly enjoy, which is why I had such a high bar. I think if you're an aspiring YouTuber and you're trying to get into this thing, you gotta really go all out and make the best content that you can make, content that you personally would watch, because if you don't wanna watch it, that means nobody's gonna wanna watch it. Yeah, we just buried a rebound there, nothing too exciting. I think that's our third, which means we can't score anymore. That was also a really dumb rule back in the day. You couldn't score more than three goals. If you scored more than three, even if on accident, you accidentally passed the puck in the net, you got a two minute penalty, had to go to the box. Oh, how can I forget? It's two games one night. This is like a whole nother video almost. But yeah, I remember there was one situation where I had three goals and I was trying to pass it to my teammate in front. The pass went off the opponent's skate and into the back of the net and I was like, Okay, I understand if that's not a goal, but he literally sent me to the box. I passed it backwards, backwards to the slot, and it went to the net, and I got a penalty. Yeah, like some of the rules and stuff that we had in this league was a little bit wild. Like the guy that ran it was a madman. He just made up all sorts of stuff. Nice little sauce to the finish there. Let's go, fist pump. Coming out here around, pass it to the front, and my teammate hits it with a diving pass. Yo, that was actually sick. All right, video number three on the return is crazy sauce, hockey trick shots. I think, honestly, this is one of my favorite videos that I made. Probably one of the most difficult, but I had so much fun with this one. Kind of the idea behind this was I had watched like Dude Perfect making videos, making their basketball trick shots, football trick shots, but nobody was out there making hockey trick shots. So me and my buddy Mage here went out and we were like, let's make a hockey trick shot video. We spent the whole day filming, pretty much like sunrise to sunset, trying to get sick clips. Let's see how they look now. I think this was around the time when the sauce kit first came out. They actually had like sent me an email. They're like, hey, we want to send you some sauce kits. You guys make a video with it. I was like, yeah, I'm definitely down for that. First, we got the bridge shot. That's not really much of a sauce. More of a wrist shot, but we got the lucky bounce and it popped in. All right, Mage is actually going to hit us with a banger here. So we were just like looking around the random stuff at this park. We saw this baseball diamond. There's this giant fence here. He sauced it over it bounces off the ground and somehow pops into the sauce kit. Yo, this is actually pretty nasty. This summer, uh, me and him are gonna have to go out and do another trick shot video here, cause that is just sick. Uh, I think this is what I came up with, a little home plate to second base action. Nice clean shot there, right into the back of the net. Couple angles as well, fancy editing, okay. All right, this is the one that you guys actually have to see. No joke, three hours spent on this shot right here. So there's a disc golf course by this park that we play at. We set the sauce kit on top of it, went on top of this giant hill, and just started launching pucks down the hill. I didn't think I was this good back in the day at editing, but actually it's not half bad. And we bury the shot from the top of the hill. I remember the sun was going down. We probably had 
another five to ten tries after shooting no joke probably a hundred two hundred pucks that day we finally made it in sigh of relief let's go this is the big boy the skipping puck hockey shot my claim to fame my espn top 10 my local news my national news i remember tsn posted about it like literally this thing was all over the place let's take a look at this so we got a little shooting pad set up mage is on the other side of the camera as well boom boom two skips into the net i remember i saw one guy try this he was like at a beach I had never seen it done on a pond where like, if you don't do it right, the pucks go to the bottom. So I was like, this is a high risk, high reward. We lost to probably a total of 10 pucks that day. Ended up hitting the pond skipper, going in, and somehow ESPN picked up on it, man. That seriously made my life. Honestly, at the time, I don't think I really realized how cool this was, but I got to go to a local news station and soft the anchors on live TV. Me and Mage both went out there and did that. It was honestly one of the coolest experiences of my life. And I think that was really the turning point where I was like, dude, at some point way later in life, I want to do this full time. I want to be a full time YouTuber. And fortunately, thanks to you guys, that is where I am right here today. So that is my first four videos on my big return to YouTube and starting to make real life hockey videos. Now we'll kind of skip ahead a little bit, maybe take a look at a few more here, and then we will call it a day. Not going to lie, my clickbait back in the day was on point. We got GoPro between the legs, Nash goal we got a very sad moment we have the dangle fest big save big save goal like i i want to click on these and see what they are i guess this one probably sounds the best the dangle fest there's got to be a couple good clips in here we'll see what it looks like wait a second no so he flips the puck up flips the puck up bats it goes over the goalie's head and bar down no way he could ever do that again if he tried what a goal. All right, I think this is the first clip here. There's a little top on the board that somehow pops out to me. Take it in. Little toe drag. Goalie is way out of position. That looked a little rough. Although it's worth noting, roller hockey goalie is a lot harder than ice hockey goalie because it's so hard to slide around, especially when you're on uh, roller blades. So a lot of people in the comments of my videos are like, the goalies are so bad. But no, I think in general, that's just roller hockey. Like it's so hard to slide. The puck moves so fast. Obviously, roller hockey is a much higher scoring game than ice hockey because of that. Oh, no. No, you can't do that, man. Off the draw, loses it. We get that little top right snipe. What a finish. Man, no quick bait needed on this video. I am just putting it through everyone's legs. I remember this was uh, one of the better teams in the league, too. Like, we had a constant rivalry against these guys. Pretty much every single game ended up with one of them getting extremely angry and trying to fight us. It was such a pain. For some reason, I included a little bonus clip at the end here. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna come in on the goalie here on a breakaway. Nice. Oh my, dude. That was just like the spleen injury. The one that put me in the hospital for weeks. Except this time I get up and I'm perfectly fine. Man, I was young and in my prime back then, apparently. All right, let's do two more videos. So we gotta be careful in what we pick here. I think, honestly, this one's underappreciated. It only has 11K views, but it's pretty sick. Flipping an open Gatorade bottle. So I remember at the time, there were so many people on Instagram doing the puck tricks where they like throw the puck up, flip their stick around, whatever. So I figured out that I could do it with Gatorade bottles. I tried this first with a Gatorade bottle with the cap on. Then I was like, you know what? I might be able to make this happen without the cap on. So I took the cap off, and no joke, this is me flipping the bottle upside down. No liquid coming off. Just pure science right there. Although I did go through, like, probably three or four total Gatorades of me missing these shots and the bottle just, like, bouncing around, all the liquid coming out. Totally worth it, though. That's pretty sick. And here it is in full motion. Doesn't look quite as cool in full motion, but... There it is, the hype outro song, just a simple subscribe. Hey, dude, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda getting baited by my own clickbait here. This says the greatest shift of all time, so we have to see what this is. All right, so shift, this is the beginning of the shift here, I think, we've only been out there like 20 seconds or so. I give a little drop pass to Matt, who buries it in front. Also, there's there were three different mats on our team, 
So I, you've probably noticed that I've said Matt for a lot of different people, and, and yeah, all their names were Matt. It was super confusing. Yo, the play! Oh my gosh, please tell me this goes in. Woo! Off the pipe and out. But well, hold on, he gets me the puck back, sneaks it through the leg, and that is Matt with the finish as well. Okay, actually, I think at some point there were four Matts on our team. At this point, we were super tired, but we had just scored two in a row, so we are like, we gotta put in one more. I think this is Colin with the shot, comes in with the rebound, buries it, let's go! Woo! The score is actually 5-5, so we just put in three goals there. We were down 5-2, I guess, at the beginning of that. One more quick that, hit. That seems impossible, but I mean, I guess so. And then we were like, all right, we're going to keep playing here until we get one more goal, because the, the line chemistry was just unbelievable. Let's see, last play of the day. This guy's walking on me. Uh-oh, he's facing the wrong way. Put it through his leg backwards. Oh, my. Step over the goalie, and I think that is the game winner as well. Defenseman was clueless, didn't know where the puck was. Yeah, I think this team was a little rough, but still a sick finish regardless. I gotta see what this goal of the year is, all right? I don't, I don't even remember what this could have been, but we'll see if it lives up to the hype or not. Oh, little tip top right. I think that was off the, uh, off the draw as well. All right, the music picking up. Could this be the goal of the year? I doubt it. It's a breakaway, but it's probably a goal. Boom, little backhand forehand. You can't beat that in roller hockey. All right, this might be it here. We come in, drag through the stick, around the goalie. Yo, those hands, those hands are pretty nice. I don't know if that's like goal of the year. I guess I did put a question mark, so it's up for debate. But when you watch it in full motion, that's pretty dope. So we win the draw here on our end. Little back and forth. Woo! Yo, ego's flying. Little spin move, and it somehow sneaks short side let's go all right, all right i gotta end it there i could keep watching these videos forever but you guys if you want to go see them visit my channel they're all still on there so you can go and check them out i had a ton of fun going back and watching some of those old clips honestly it's so cool to see kind of how this all got started and where i am today and for real this would not be possible without you guys like i owe every single bit of my success to you guys and all the love and support that you continue to show me you guys have no idea how much of a blessing it is to wake up every single day and play hockey, play video games, make videos for you guys. Honestly, this is the life, this is my dream, and it has come true thanks to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and had as much fun as I did. If you did, be sure to hit it with a like, also subscribe if you haven't, and we'll be back again with some more videos on Monday. Talk to you then, and peace.